Canada and South Korea have a special historic relationship. Almost 70 years ago, a generation of brave Canadians risked their lives fighting for peace and freedom for the Korean people. Against the odds, the 2nd Battalion of the Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry held the line at Hill 677, halting Canadian advances. Considered one of the most significant chapters in our military history, we left our mark through the bravery of the Canadian soldiers. During the Korean War, Canada contributed 26,000 troops, the third largest number of soldiers among UN countries, and 516 Canadians lost their lives in the conflict. It is an honor to recognize the contributions of our valiant veterans today, whose courage and sacrifice at Kathiong have contributed to the stability and prosperity that South Korea enjoys today. As part of the Revisit Korea program, supported by South Korea's Ministry of Patriots and Veterans Affairs, many of our veterans have returned to see firsthand how their efforts helped pave the way for the remarkable progress achieved by South Korea since the war. Canadians have every reason to be proud of our veterans' achievements. Canada and South Korea continue to have a close relationship. Our relationship predates the Korean War, with the first Canadian missionaries having first contact in South Korea in the 19th century. We continue to work closely together to advance peace and security on the Korean Peninsula and around the world, and on a wide range of issues such as trade and investment, climate change, gender equality, and international education. A strong indication of our enduring relationship is the rich contribution of the Korean-Canadian community that has contributed immensely to every aspect of Canadian society. Canada and South Korea are natural partners, and our dynamic and growing friendship is even more important today. On the 70th anniversary of the Battle of Kapyong, we remember the sacrifice of Canadians who fought during the Korean War.